You're reading an excerpt from the Today's Worldview newsletter. Sign up to get the rest free, including news from around the globe and interesting ideas and opinions to know, sent to your inbox every weekday. In a testy exchange earlier this month, a senior U.S. official warned Israeli counterparts of the reputational damage as a result of the ongoing war in Gaza. The internal memo of the exchange involving Assistant Secretary of State Bill Russo, obtained by NPR correspondent Daniel Estrin, offered yet another illustration of the rift between the Biden administration and Israel, driven largely by growing American horror at the humanitarian toll of the conflict and Israel's role in making it worse, even as the United States shields Israel in international forums and helps replenish its war machine. According to NPR, Russo said in his March 13 call that Israel, and the United States, as Israel's security guarantor and close ally, face a major credibility problem, because of the war, the astonishing Palestinian death toll, now more than 32,000 people, the man-made famine gripping ravaged areas of the Gaza Strip, and growing global frustration with Israel's insistence on prolonging the war to fully eradicate militant group Hamas. The Israelis seemed oblivious to the fact that they are facing major, possibly generational damage to their reputation not just in the region but elsewhere in the world, the memo said. We are concerned that the Israelis are missing the forest for the trees and are making a major strategic error in writing off their reputation damage. Russo's Israeli interlocutor scoffed at the claim, suggesting anger at Israel is more prevalent online and on social media platforms such as TikTok than in the real world, according to the memo. That view is consistent with current Israeli rejections of outside criticism, including recent assertions that it's not contravening international law by restricting the flow of humanitarian aid into Gaza. On Saturday, UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres spoke to reporters at the Rafah border crossing between Gaza and Egypt. People around the world are outraged about the horrors we are all witnessing in real time, he said of the plight of Palestinians in Gaza, the bulk of whom have been displaced from their homes and are now going hungry. I carry the voices of the vast majority of the world. We have seen enough. We have heard enough. Israeli officials remain unmoved. On the same day, as his UN counterparts reiterated calls for an immediate ceasefire and the deeper goal of a two-state solution, Gilad Erdin, Israel's ambassador to the body, spoke instead of the need to impose a vague program of de-radicalization on the entire Palestinian population. He said the majority of Palestinians don't want peace and liken them to Germans coming out of the Third Reich. His remarks came as the UN.